Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we will see about the data tables and how to export the data from data tables in the form of a PDF, Excel, or CSV, or you can just copy the data and paste it anywhere. So, this becomes very useful in many complex systems where uh, you have tables and you want the data to be downloaded. Uh, you want the data to be printed or you want the PDF of the data and things like that so this is the view which we are going to learn how to make it so it's very effective if you want the results to be of Tokyo you can just filter it and you can uh, you can just copy it so you can see that the five rows are copied or you can just download the Excel CSV or PDF of it right so it's very effective guys and you will see about how to make this thing and it's very simple so first of all what you need to do is you need to go in your project see I have made a folder called data tables just to give you a brief uh, about how to use it so here I have index.html file you can have .php, .html, whatever extensions you use and now see I have removed all my code so when I will re reload the page nothing is uh, happening right here we will make everything from scratch so first of all I need an HTML right and after that I'll go to data tables example and you can see that the file export so here they have mentioned how to use it but it's very complex to see so I'll make it quite simple for you guys so first of all we need a table and I have already made a table here so this is my table my table has some unique functionalities like ID example and things like that so ID is the important part here you can see that ID then we have T head in which we have our TH tags in a TR and then T footer if you want if you don't want you can just comment it so this is for footer and then the body which repeats all the rows right so this is our table with ID example okay and then we need the required things so you can go down here you can see the JavaScript HTML CSS so for CSS you need this two CSS which is of a data table itself so these are the two links okay so you can just cut it here you can write a link tag paste the link here cut it here and okay so this is the CSS for data table dot min dot CSS and these are the buttons what you see here the copy CSV or Excel or PDF whatever so these are the buttons so we need the CSS for two things one for buttons and one for this so we have successfully included these two files now for JavaScript first of all we need some required files so this is the jQuery so this is must you don't need to include all this stuff here okay now just go to the bottom section and before closing your body tag just include a script and put the SRC for the jQuery okay after that you can add the data table dot min dot js which is must okay and then you can go to the buttons dot min dot js so this is another 
important file okay and zip we don't want we want button min flash if in case it's needed script src equals to this I'll show you how effective this is and then we'll just require PDF make okay and now we'll write the script here we'll define our table with ID example example dot data table okay they have given the example how to include it so we'll just do the replication here and I'll just give you what it wants okay I hope it's visible now it's very simple you can add the button for copy like this and you can try reloading the page here itself so okay so you can see that the data table has been initialized if you just comment this two things right you would see that the data table is initialized properly and to include the buttons in your data table you have already loaded all the required JS file you can add a copy button here so when you click on copy it will copy all the 57 rows okay and if you if you just filter the data you have some 12 entries you, you can see it here so when you click on copy you will just copy the filtered data and not the entire 57 rows so you can guess how effective it would be okay so this is how we add a copy button in next video we'll see about the PDF and other buttons like that thank you for watching guys hope you like my video subscribe to my channels and please share if you like thank you